Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! No! Okay, so now I have a few core combos to show. We're going to primarily focus on two and two and a half card combos with a discard, since they're the ones you'll be performing most often. When I refer to an insect extender, it means basically uh, any extender like this that's an actual monster that will put itself into the grave after linking it off and not be trooper to send the, the token generating uh, spell you search off Stinglancer since one descent doesn't provide as an insect to banish during your combo and two most combos require you to search descent later on as part of the combo so obviously you can't do that if you have to use it early so if you're if you open with like a beach or descend mainly you're just gonna go into verte with it and these are like even though there's gonna be a lot of combos in this video this this is just a starting point since the the other three cards in your hand will can and will affect how it what you combo and what hand traps you search later on, but that that's really it's a lot of branching off to do in a single in a single video and it you'll basically get familiar with what to what to do and what to branch off with the more you uh, play this deck and get familiar with it. Okay, so we'll start off with the most bread and butter combo of the deck. This is also the strongest combo of the deck. It requires resonance insect plus a inside extender that's not Beatrice Descent and any discard. We'll start with Resonance Insect and summon our extender. Link Resonance and our extender into B Trooper Armor Horn. Resonance is going to trigger to add a Doom Dozer. Special Doom Dozer by banishing our two insects. Resonance is going to trigger again. Dumping Goki Bowl. Goki Bowl effect. It's going to add us a second copy of Resonance Insect. And Armored Horns effect. We're going to normal summon that Resonance Insect. Next, we link Resonance and Doom Dozer into Pico Felena. We will trigger both Resonance and Pico Felena. Discarnia card. And attaching Retaliating C to, to Armor Horn. Next we will add a Mighty Neptune to hand. We can use Pico Felena's effect to shuffle back any three besides the resonance insect back to the deck to draw a card. Next we will link Armor Horn and Puka Felena off into a copy of Invincible Atlas. Retaliating C is gonna trigger to add us a copy of Maxi. Next we will trigger Invincible Atlas, tributing itself to summon a Sting Lancer from deck. Sting Lancer effect will add us a B Trooper Descent. Next we'll use Armor Horn and Grave to banish Resident Insect and any two other insects. Resident Insect is going to trigger for the fourth time this turn, once per turns, baby, and send Sting the Poison to the grave. Activate the Sense and turn the Descent token and Armor Horn into Seraphim Papillion. And special Mighty Neptune, putting back any three insects. And going into Verte with 
Shifting Lancer and Mighty Neptune. Activate to make our DPE. During our opponent's turn. So they already know we search Maxi. So there's not much point holding it besides playing around Gamma. So if you want you could draw phase Maxi. If they have a call by the grave, you can chain Papillion to bring back the, the Maxi to dodge the call by. Otherwise if they don't, after Maxi revolves, use Papillion to bring back Sting the Poison. Sting the Poison is gonna add us a copy of Arbalest. So get used to seeing this board. This is this board on field is DPE and Sting the Poison, which is a targeted monster negate by sacking off the Pillion. In this in this combo we also searched a max C, we drew a card. And this the real strong point of B Trooper combos is all the follow-up you get on the next turn. Arbalest will on summon it will revive Sting and Sting will search us a pin the bullseye, which is three monsters by itself. We have the we have a also have a denier engrave. And you know, Dasher, if we da draw into any monster of Dasher, that's also insane. It's like four or something three monsters we can summon the next turn. So our opponent eventually they have to kill us, otherwise they're dead next turn to the swarm of insects that's gonna be summoned next turn. So this is a variation on the last combo with a different starter. This time retaliating C plus an instant extender plus a discard. So start out by summon retaliating and then summoning our extender. Link these two off. It's always into armor horn. Paladin C is gonna trigger. And we'll add a resonance insect for, for proof of concept. We'll summon the ar the resonance insect we just searched with armor horn. Then link these armor horn and resonance insect into a second copy of armor horn. We'll trigger our Resonance Insect to add us a Doom Dozer. Next we will Special Doom Dozer by banishing Resonance and another Insect that's not Armor Horn. Then Resonance Insect that's gonna trigger to dump Goki Bolt. Goki Bolt effect. To add killer needle. Special killer needle. Don't, don't pop anything. Link killer needle and doom dozer into Pico Felena. Discard a card. And special summon and attach another copy of Resonance Insect. Here we can use Pico Felena to put back. Killer Nido, Doom Dozer, and another card. We'll put back the Resonance Insect for proof of concept that you don't need to draw two Resonance Insects. Next, we link these two off into Principal Atlas. Then, Resonance is going to trigger again to add a uh, Mighty Neptune. Use Invincible Atlas to tribute itself. To summon Sting Lancer. And activate Sting Lancer, add the sense. Activate an armor horn engrave. Banish resonance and two other insects.
and trigger resonance again. Again for the fourth time this turn. To dump a sting. And make the token and armor horn into a papillion. And special uh, Heavy Neptune, Mighty Neptune, <laughs> Heavy Bee Trooper, Mighty Neptune. And put Sting and Mighty Neptune into the Verte. Use Verte to dump Fusion Destiny, make our BB. And on our opponent's turn, Papillion will revive Sting the Poison. So add us a copy of Arbalest for follow up. Okay, so crucially, the difference between the combo with Retaliating C and a combo with Resonance Insect is that with Retaliating C, ironically, we could not search Maxi during our combo. Uh, this Maxi, we just hard root. You know, we didn't we didn't search this or anything. So there is a line where where with Retaliating C plus an Extender, you can instead of having Sting the Poison and Seraphim Papillion, you would search Maxi, which you can do that, but. Personally, I think going for Sting the Poison as a guaranteed interruption and then adding Arbless as a strong follow-up, I think it's it's more prudent this meta since, especially since if, say, like Brandon Despia is going to be the most, the most uh, represented deck, then Maxi is like a draw two, which will not guarantee you a, a second disruption like Sting does. But also, since we do not have these two on field, we're, we are much more prone to just straight up dying. Since our only interruption that we don't have to hard draw is DPE plus a Verti on field. And our follow up only matters if we're alive the next turn. And also our follow up is weaker because we, we don't have our bliss, we only have the two draws from Maxi. So, yeah, basically. In a choice between Maxi or Sting plus Papillion, I will uh, most likely always go for the Sting plus Papillion route. Okay, so this combo is going to be a proof of concept. Goku Pole plus Extender. Now, obviously, you open this hand in the real game, you, you never go for this as a starter. You have Presence and Retaliate and see. We're just doing it to show the combo line. So normal Goku Bowl. Special our extender. Oh yeah, and obviously we need a discard for this combo too. So Goku Pole and Extender to Armor Horn. Goku Bowl is gonna trigger. Add us Arbalest the Rapid Fire. Use Armor Horn to normal Arbalest. Arbalest will ride either one, doesn't matter. Go Link Arbalest and what do you revive into Pico? Pico is gonna discard a card. And attach resonance. Next Pico Flame is gonna put back put back Arbalest and doesn't matter what else. Draw a card. Sick. T 
turn these two to Invincible Atlas. Trigger Resonance to add a copy of I believe Doom Dozer. Activate Invincible Atlas. Summon Sting Lancer. Sting Lancer effect. Add the sense. This time we will special Dozer by banishing two insects. Trigger resonance to dump Sting. Turn these two into birthday. Activate armor horn. Banish three that are not sting the poison. And finally Descent and armor horn into the pillion. Use Verte to dump Fusion Destiny. Fly Dasher. And we will revive our sting. Add our our blast. So actually, in this combo, it doesn't doesn't matter whether whether you add uh, Doom Dozer or Mighty Neptune. In fact, Mighty Neptune might be arguable that's better since you can put stuff back, although it requires you to be more uh, precise with what's in your grave and what's in your banished. So you'll keep in mind because Neptune only shuffles back main deck monsters, so if you trip up with what you uh, banished off Armor Horn, it might screw you up, whereas Doom Dozer, you can just, you can just summon it and and you're good, so either or doesn't really matter too much. You you end on Sting and DP, even with a Goki Pole as your starter. Okay, so this combo is gonna be Sting the Poison and either an Insect Extender or Arbalest the Rapid Fire. And plus one discard. The the discard specifically it changes depending on what it is. If if we have an insect monster to discard, we get an extra draw off Pico Felina. If we have to discard a non insect, then we won't have enough fodder in grave to get the draw of Pico Felina as you'll see. So in this case our our discard is gonna be killer needle, so we get the extra draw. So summon Sting, add either Pin or Arbalest, whichever one you don't have. Summon Pin, burn for 200. Link these two into a copy of Armor Horn. Armor Horn effect, normal summon Arbalest. Arbalest, bring back either one. Turn Arbalest 
and the revived insect into a copy of Insector Pico Felena. Then we'll use Pico Felena's effect and discard one to a attach a resident insect to armor horn. Now what's also cool about this particular combo line is even if we draw killer needle it it does not affect us since we can just put it back before we ever trigger Gogi Bowl. Right now. Uh, put everything back except Sting the Poison. We want this engraved for a revival target for a, a Pillion. Next we turn uh, Armor armor Horn and Pico Felena into Invincible Atlas. Just gonna trigger Resonance Insect to add us a copy of Sting Lancer this time. Since we do not need it for the extra extender, we get to search a Sting Lancer instead. Next use Invincible Atlas. Tribute itself to summon the other Sting Lancer from deck and add a copy of the scent. Next, we will use the Armor Horn Engrave to banish once again everything except the Sting to Poison. Then we'll use the Resonance Insect to dump the Goki Pole now. Use Goki Pole's effect to add and summon Killer Nino. Next we turn Armor Horn and Killer Nino into a Papillion. Activate VTuber Descent. Summon a token. Token into Link Spider. And Link Spider and Sting Lancer into Verte. And make BB. And during our opponent's turn, we'll revive the Sting Lancer and add back the Arbalest. So this variation of the combo, we get we get the familiar field of Sting, Sting, Papillion, and DPE. Except along the way, we also added a Sting Lancer which is a disruption and follow-up on top of the Arbalest and the Denier Engrave. And if we had discard an Insect, we drew a card. If we didn't discard an Insect, we didn't draw a card, but it's fine. Because we still have uh, three disruptions and a bunch of follow-up. Okay, so this is going to be an addendum to the Sting to Poison plus Extender slash Arbalest combo. So out of all the starters we have, Sting the Poison is the only starter where we can make a full combo with Beat Trooper's Descent as our only extender. You know, Resonance Insect, Retaliating Seed, Goki Pole. If you draw any of those with Descent as your only extender, all you can do is make DPE pass. So and this combo is will be Sting, the sense and a discard. Now, if the discard is an insect monster, it gets slightly better. Uh, it doesn't have to be an insect monster. It can be any card, but specifically an insect discard is optimal, quote unquote, for this combo. So we're gonna normal Sting. Sting is gonna add us Arbalest. 
and B Troopers descent. Gonna turn st Sting and the Scent token into Armor Horn. Next, we're gonna use Armor Horn to normal summon Arbalest. Arbalest is gonna revive Sting. Turn Arbalest and Sting into Pico Felena. Pico's gonna discard to equip a copy of Resonance Insects to Armor Horn. Now, don't don't get baited by the the glowing yellow yellow outline. We we cannot use Insector Pico Felena's effect for this combo since we have to use V Trooper Descent. We we want to leave Sting to poison in grave, so we because this requires three to shuffle back, we can't use his effect. So turn Pico Felena and Armor Horn into Invincible Atlas. It's time Resonance Insect. So if we discard an insect, we will add Mighty Neptune. If we did not discard an insect, we add Doom Dozer. So we discard an insect, so we will add Mighty Neptune. Tribute, Invincible Atlas, summon Sting Lancer. Sting Lancer is going to add us another copy of the Senate. We, obviously we can't use it this turn, but it's still a nice extender as a follow-up for next turn. So next we will use Armor Horn and Grave, a uh, Banished Resonance, a Main Deck, very very crucial, Banish a Main Deck Insect Monster, and Banish our Arborlust. This will trigger Resonance Insects to dump Goki Pole. And Goki Pole is going to add us Killer Needle. And we're real special to Killer Needle. Turn Killer, uh, Killer Needle and Armor Horn into Papillion. Now, this is very crucial. Summon Mighty Neptune by putting back the three monsters, including including the Arbalest. See where we're going with this. Next turn these two into Verte. And you know, bear bear with me for a sec. So like just just imagine we we didn't hard draw Fusion Destiny. So we just sent Fusion Destiny. You know, rest 6k. And then on our opponent's turn again, Papillion will revive Sting, and Sting the Poison will add us back the Arbalest that we just put back with Mighty Neptune after banishing with Armor Horn. So this is this is the combo if we had an Insect discard. Such as you know, like a, let's say a retaliating seer or something. If if we did not uh, have an insect discard, we would have, we would not have enough. Um, we wouldn't have been able to banish enough main deck insects to use mighty Neptune, so we would have to use Doomdozer instead. So instead of adding adding Arblast, Arbalest, we would be adding a pin the bullseye, just one less body. But still should be, you know, it's still it's still good enough. We still have the Denier in the grave, we still have the co extra copy of Beatroof Descent for next turn that we can use, and we end on this st uh, Sting plus DPE board again. 
So now we're gonna move on to the combos involving Sting the Poison as an ex as a starter. This this one's gonna be Sting plus Resonance Insect. Start out by normally Sting the Poison. Add a copy of Pin the Bullseye. We're gonna summon Pin. Burn for 200. Link Pin and Sting. Into Armor Horn. Armor Horns. A normal summon Resonance Insect. Link Armor Horn and Resonance Insect. Into Seraphim Pillion. Pillion. Uh, Resonance Insect's gonna trigger. Add a Doom Dozer. This next special Doom Dozer. Banners, Resonance, and Pin. Trigger Resonance to dump a Goki Bolt. Goki Bolt effect. Add Killer Needle. Summon Killer Needle to the field. Turn Killer Needle into Link Spider. Then turn Link Spider and Doom Dozer to Burtail. Summon. PPE. And on our opponent's turn, we'll revive Sting. Sting will add us Arbalest. Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward combo compared to the other ones you've seen since. We didn't have to physic. We since we hard do sting. We didn't have to physically do stuff like Pico Felena to attach a residence to banish it later to dump the sting into the grave. So we could just skip all those steps and go straight into Papillion plus Verte. And we have a extra armor horn and grave as follow up as well. So next combo is gonna be. Sting the poison plus retaliating seat. Gonna normal sting. Add pin the bullseye. Special pin. And burn for two. Next link these two off into E Trooper Armor Horn. Armor Horn effect to normal summon Retaliating Sea. Link Retaliating Sea and Armor Horn off into a second copy of Armor Horn. Retaliating Sea is going to trigger. We're going to add a copy of Maxi. Next, banish uh, three from the grave to special summon Armor Horn. And then link these two off into Invincible Atlas. Invincible Atlas is gonna trigger it, it's gonna tribute itself. Summon Sting Lancer from the deck. Sting Lancer is gonna add us another copy of Beach Trooper Descent. Activate Beach Trooper Descent. Turn the token into a uh, Link Spider. Then link these two off into Verte. Make our DPE.
so this combo ends us on a DPE and a Surge Maxi with a Armor Horn Engrave and a Denier for follow-up on the next turn. This is one of the this is uh, one of the uh, the weaker quote unquote combos since our only option is to search Maxi since we cannot have we do not have a spare normal summon just normal summon a resonance insect since we have to spend it on the retaliating C already. Now this is the final sting the poison combo we'll be covering for this video. Uh, Sting the Poison plus Go People, plus a discard. So normal Sting, activate effect, add pin, special pin, and we'll burn for 200. We'll link these two off into Armor Horn. Iron Horn effect, the normal summon go people. Move these two off into a second go people. Or <laughs> second armor horn. Where people is gonna trigger. Add and special killer needle. Not destroy a card. I'm gonna summon the armor horn by banishing all three in grave. We're gonna turn double armor horn into invincible atlas. Atlas will tribute itself, summon Sting Lancer. Sting Lancer will add to the sense. Now we finally get to the point where we're making <laughs> Pico Felena with the token and Killer Nido. We'll discard a card. Do equip a retaliating seed. We can use Pico to draw a card, so... There's an argument to be made for leaving the Armor Horn in Grave, but it's... Whether it's in Grave or in Extra Deck, doesn't matter too much since it's pretty easy to bring out. And you can just resun this from Grave either way, whether you make it in the Extra Deck or it starts in the Grave. So finally we get to link these two off into Verte. Italian AC will add us a maxi. And we'll make Verte. Or <laughs> DPE. So, Sting Lancer plus Goki Pool, which is the worst of the potential other insects to pair with Sting the Poison, is a very convoluted way into DPE plus Search Maxi and a draw one. Okay, so the last combo is. Is what I'm gonna call it the down bad combo. It's where you have a hand where you don't have any of your starters, no residence, no retaliating C, no sting, no no goki pull. You just have a handful of insects. So this is three insects plus a discard. <laughs> and you might argue if it's even worth going for this instead of just sitting on DPE pass. And you know it's a fair question, but it's just 
This is just something that's good to know you can do if you're that desperate. So, summon Sting. Or summon Pin. We're gonna summon the other Pin. And summon our Scale Bomber. And we have two pins, so we could burn for 400. Next, we'll turn any of these two into a Pico Felena. And Pico's gonna <laughs> trigger to discard our second to last card in hand. You attach a Resonance in Insect. <laughs> and. You know, since we didn't discard an insect, we can't even draw. If we had discarded another insect, like, we could have discarded Maxi and drawn a card, but like, honestly, Maxi is better than any random draw in our deck, so... <laughs> so, yeah. We gotta link these two off... ...into Armor Horn. And Resonance is going to trigger, give us a Doom Dozer, Sp special Doom Dozer, manage Resonance and any other insects, trigger Resonance to dump Gulky Bowl, use Gulky Bowl to add Resonance. Armor Horn to normal resonance. And since we already used Pico Filet for this turn, this is where you see this is a lot weaker than the. We'll say the resonance plus extender combo, even though it looks similar at this point. So we'll turn. All four of these into Invincible Atlas. Trigger Resonance. And add Mighty Neptune. Tribute Invincible Atlas. The summon Sting Lancer from our deck. Sting Lancer is going to add us a copy of V-Shooter Descent. Now we'll special armor horn by banishing resonance. And honestly, we put we've banished Doom Dozer and uh It's not really matter the third one. Trigger resonance to dump the sting on the poison. Uh, activate the scent. Link armor horn and the token into Papillion. Then summon my adventurer by uh, shelling back the Doom Dozer and any other two insects. And turn these two into Verte. Activate Verte to make our DBE. Their turn. Drop Maxi, because why not? And Papillion will revive. Sting the poison. Sting will add us back. A Arbalest. So, at the end of the day, no starters, but three insects. You know, two of the six. Two of our six insect extenders. You know, we, we end on a pretty okay board, you know, you end on 
Sting, DPE, uh, plus a uh, Arbalest follow up. But you have to, you could see the problem was we committed four cards to our field, and if they, and we didn't give them anything to bait out a Valor or Infirm. Since a lot, a lot of time, since people don't know what they're doing against this deck, you can, they'll just Valor Sting, and then we can just pivot up into a DPE play through a hand trap. But we gave them no, no baits. So the first Valor or Infirm is on Pico Felena, and we just lose. Any sort of disruption, we straight up just lose. But you know, if you're if you're really ballsy and you just you really just don't care and you just want to vomit out the three insects in your hand, then you can end on this. So something to know. Okay, so I guess I'll put this little section at the end for like some miscellaneous tips might be helpful when you play this deck. Now, obviously, you saw a lot of, you know, common loot to combos that we did that involved going through stuff like Invincible Atlas shooting itself to get Sting Lancer from the deck and yada yada. If you're going second, you know, and you're allowed to combo that far, uh, you can simply just cut your combo short and go into Papillion, into Access Code, and just kill your opponent. You know, you don't have to worry about all this all this crazy stuff, you know, dumping Sting Lancer, all this, all this stuff to revive it next turn, just kill your opponent. Maxi is next tip. Maxi is an insect. A few applications of this, obviously, you know, if you're down bad, you can normal summon this, and this is counts as an insect. You can use the go into stuff like Pico Felena, and. Armor Horn, if need be. It's most relevant when you top deck it off Dasher. Because then it's basically just a free insect extender. And also, at any time, you know, if the situation calls for it, you can discard Maxi e to the grave to fulfill insect count in the grave. So either to make it so your Doomdozer is live when you only draw some, like let's say a resonance, and you need to get a second set engraved to combo, or or you could use it to keep, make your Sting Lancer live, either as an extension on two on your turn, or you could discard Maxi when willy nilly, and then you have a live Sting Lancer to disrupt your opponent's graveyard. Uh, th this deck is like really, really freaking hard to play. I. I spent a ton of time recording this because I kept having to re-record stuff because I either kept messing up or I was left out crucial information as I was comboing. And not only that, I I was learning stuff on the fly as I was recording the combos itself and I realized, oh, I could do this better. But, so I had to re-record the combos and hopefully redraw the hands needed to combo in, in solo mode because, you know, we can't pick our hands. Thanks, Konami. I would say if you were if you were planning on playing this deck, you know, unfortunately we have a we're gonna have a reduced timer soon. So really go into solo mode and practice the ins and outs, get comfortable with some some of the basic combo lines before you have to go through an actual timer. And you know, eventually don't have to be perfect. This deck has a lot of extenders. You know, sometimes especially if you're only second, you're gonna try to kill them. There's a bit of leeway, you know, you can learn from your mistakes. It's basically, basically the, the deck.